a common point vectors in the triangle opq below op is equals to p and oq is equals to q r is a point on pq such that 3 pr is equals to rq and 5 os is equals to 2 oq ps intersects or at t so there is the diagram part a expressed in terms of p and q 1 os 2 pq 3 or then part b given that ot is equals to hor and pt is equals to k ps determine the values of h and k so that is the whole question 10 marks so let's go to the first part I'm supposed to express in terms of p and q these vectors os pq and or so we start with os but before that we can try to look at these um, this in piece of information you're given here 3 pr is equals to rq r is a point on pq you can see it there so 3 pr is equals to rq so what it means is that rq is 3 times pr rq is 3 times pr so meaning this one is uh, the ratio here is 3 this rq is 3 times then this one is 1 so that is how it's supposed to indicate the ratio then the other one is here 5 os 5 os is equals to 2 oq 5 os 5 os so if we can divide both sides by 5 we divide uh, 5 os by 5 you get os is equals to 2 over 5 oq so os is equals to 2 over 5 oq so you notice that s divides oq internally and what ratio is that uh, this figure that is here is a 5 shows the total the sum of the ratio from o to q so already we know that this one is 2 and uh, the entire the sum of the ratio should be from o to q should be 5 so automatically what remains here sq uh, will be 3 in order for this ratio to add up to 5 so now when you look at it os is equals to 2 over the total the sum of the ratio 2 plus 3 which is 5 or q so that is what you're supposed to do the first thing now after doing that it's also good to indicate the direction uh, op the direction then uh, oq oq you this is the direction for q so now having that uh, we can go to os so os how do you get os or oh, already done it here so os if you take 5 os is equals to 2 oq and divide both sides by 5 you'll get that one is uh, 2 5 oq and this one again will be very easy since uh, we already have um, oq we're given that oq is equals to vector q we get it here oq vector q op is vector p so os therefore is equals to 2 5 oq which is q like that part 2 pq 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 so from p to q uh, you can follow this uh, route from p to q you can move from p to o then from o to q and this one will give p o p o look at the direction of the arrow moving in the opposite direction so o p is equals to p so p o since it's going in the opposite direction will be negative p plus o q o q is q so that is how you get it or you can indicate this one as uh, q minus p still the same thing then the next one is o r o r so o r will move from from then will be given by op plus or so from o to p sorry sorry so this one will be given by o to p then p to r so that is how you get or you move from o to p then from p to r so op op is p then pr pr let's get pr pr is in this line where you have p r q so look at the ratio the ratio in which r divides p q is one is to three so therefore pr will be one over the sum of the ratio that is one plus three so that is four so it will be a quarter one over four pq one over four pq so you continue so this one will be p plus one over four pq we already got pq from part two which is here q minus p so this will give uh, p plus a quarter q and as a quarter p and when you simplify this p minus one over four p will give three quarters p then plus a quarter q as simple as that so just taking the like terms p minus one over four p will be three quarters p then plus quarter q part b of the question given that ot is equals to hor and pt is equals to kps determine the values of h and k now to determine the values of h and k we're going to look at these vectors that you're given here hor and kps determine the vector that you're going to express in two ways in the first way that you're going to express that vector you must utilize hor in the other way you must utilize kps by doing so you'll end up with two simultaneous equations which you're going to solve and find the values of h and k so by looking at these two vectors what is equals to hor and pt is equals to kps you notice it is very easy to express ot in two ways and when you express ot in two ways in the first
first way you will have 40 as hor hor like that and uh, you substitute so h then or is here we got it in the previous part which is uh, three quarters p plus a quarter q opening the brackets you get three quarters hp plus a quarter hq that is the first way in the second way we must now utilize this on pt so in the second way so ot is equals to now when you're expressing ot we must ensure we use pt and how do you move from o to t and ensure that you use pt you're going when you go to the diagram when you go to the diagram you move from o to p then from p to t so you will move from o to p then p to t and this will have o p s p then p t is what now we have here s k is color k p s so what we are going to calculate is p s so you need to get p s so p s is given by p o I want you to have a look at this so p s is given by p o plus o s so is here p s p s given by PO plus OS and a PO is negative P and OS is 2 over 5 look at the the ratio in which S divides OQ so it will be 2 over 5 OQ which is 2 over 5 Q so this will be 2 over 5 Q minus P so that is how you get PS so you just need to come you just need to come here and uh, substitute so 2 over 5 q minus p so 2 over 5 q minus p like that so now we can open this we have p plus 2 5 kq minus kp so that is the second way in which you express ot now you have two ways uh, the first way is here express ot it is there then the second way is here now after doing that to get now the values of uh, h and k you just equate these two expressions they're expressing the same thing so equate them so get the first one which is uh, three quarters hp plus a quarter hq is equals to p equate with the second expression of o or t p plus two over five kq minus kp now after doing that now this is how you get the values of h and k identify where we have a uh, vector p we have vector p there we also have vector p there we have another vector p there so equate those uh, vectors having vector p so 3 over 4 3 over 4 h p is equals to p minus k p like that then from there divide each term by p you divide each term by p and uh, you know uh, when you divide each term by p this is what you're going to get so here you're going to get 3 over 4 h then when you divide p by p you get 1 when you divide kp by p you get k get rid of this denominator which is 4 by multiplying each of these terms by 4 so you'll have 3h is equals to 4 minus 4k and bring a negative uh, 4k to the left hand side you have 3h plus 4k is equals to 4 so note that then after doing that now let us uh, now identify where we have vector q we have vector q there and vector q there so we have a quarter hq is equals to 2 over 5 kq then divide each term by h by by q divide each term by q you get a quarter h is equals to 2 over 5 k i want to make h the subject multiply both sides by 4 so you have h is equals to 8 over 5 k as simple as that so now we have uh, these and you have these and you have these so now we just need to substitute and when we substitute here uh, this is what you're going to get so substitute h in this expression where we have 3 3 then h h is 8 we are substituting it h in this uh, equation one here so this will be 8 over 5 k plus 4 k is equals to 4 so this will give uh, 24 over 5 k plus 4k is equals to 4 so when you add this 24 over 5k uh, 
you get uh, 24k plus 4k you get 44 over 5k is equals to 4 so multiplying both sides by 5 reciprocal of 4 to 4 over 5 you get k as um just need to multiply these this is uh, 4 times 40 times 5 over 44 this will be 5 over 11 5 over 11 so k is 5 over over 11 so h is 8 over 5 times k which is 5 over 11 and this one will give um this will give 8 over 11 so h h is 8 over 11 and k is 5 over 11 so now we've done that we've got the values of the scalars h and k now this is the last part it's supposed not supposed to be a supposed to be this part c show that o t and r are collinear by showing they are collinear we simply show that they are the points are lying on the same straight line so how do you show that uh number one so you must show that after forming two any two vectors using these three points show that the two vectors that you form are parallel and show they are parallel you must show that those vectors that you form have a scalar there's a scalar existing between them and this one you're not going to think of this the vectors that you're going to use we are going to use what you have here already we have one that is here uh, in part b ot is equals to h or those are two vectors that are formed and there is a scalar between them the scalar h there are points that are formed using ot and r so we just pick it from there so now to show that they are collinear the first way we are going to show that there exists a scalar and this scalar is what uh, already is there because because we've calculated it and uh, we simply just need to insert it there h is h is uh, 8 over 11 or by doing this you have already shown that ot is parallel to or so that is the first way through which you show that points are collinear by just forming any two vectors using those three points then showing that there exists the scalar between the vectors that you form and that will confirm that the two vectors are parallel the second way is this when you look at vector ot and or if they are lying on the same straight line there is a common point and the common point between ot and or is o so o is a common on those two vectors that you formed so these two are the two ways that you use to show that pointer